Hello everyone. I've actually come out to uh, a forest that's not too far away from me. Anyway, I really wanted to share it with you all. It's just the most beautiful place and because, I mean look down there, look at all the trees. You can actually feel the life force coming out of all the plants and the land here. Beautiful, beautiful stream down there. It is such a beautiful place. And I know that the rain, because we've had a lot of rain, has really helped bring everything back to life. Just goes to show how important water is for us all. And that includes us humans. So Hank and I are going on this beautiful walk in this beautiful forest amongst these beautiful trees and plants where everything is alive with life force and it is wonderful look at this beautiful little stream down there wow honestly i've come in here and i'm like oh god i can really feel it i can really feel it today more so than Last time I came in, now I have been doing a lot of meditations myself. Look at that beautiful, beautiful tree. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of meditations over this lockdown period. And oh, we've come into a lovely clearing. And uh, I know that I'm becoming clearer. I've been getting huge downloads today. Look up there, how beautiful that is. Huge downloads. I've also had epiphanies and light bulb moments with uh, the form of energy that I use uh, with the healing that I do. And what it can do. Now I'm going to write all this in my book, so I'm not going to explain it now. But it is so powerful. And if anyone who's been reading about what the governments are doing and the so-called government behind the governments, not here in New Zealand, but uh, world, the, one, the one world government, we'll put it that way, and what they've been uh, doing to do with AI and other stuff. They're, uh, you know, working on mind control and all sorts of other things, which I know is correct as much as i you know you probably don't want to hear that but look at that isn't that beautiful how gorgeous is that tree trunk but that's the case i know people that have know people that have uh, been involved in some aspects of it uh, anyway the energy that I work with, which I'm going to say, I'm going to be totally honest, was taught to me by ET uh, when I was having contact. I still have contact now, but this was different. And I feel that the ET that was teaching me was an Arcturian Federation member because of the uniform she was wearing. And I felt like she was a female energy even though I couldn't actually see that. I just felt it because of what she looked like. And she was teaching me telepathically. And I've, I've, the light bulb moment I've had today is that I know now what all these downloads that I've been getting over the years are all about. And it's about... basically activating the entire human energy system. First of all, on a singular level, but once many, many are activated on a mass level, so that other, oh wow, there's a wood pigeon. So that the mind control won't work. And the other stuff that's going on won't work because you'll be so empowered if, if you get activated with this energy and work on it yourselves 
it is so powerful. And that's why I've, the light bulb moment is why I've been getting those downloads and why the healing that I've been doing is so different to what to what uh, is the norm in a healing session. Uh, so, yes, I'm buzzing with that, and when I get home, I'm going to do some writing on that as well, because I know this this is what I've been given, and I knew it was something big, but I couldn't really suss it out. All these downloads of light codes that I've been getting over the years. It's information, but it's quantum information, quantum technology, uh, which of course, if you know the word, what quantum means, it means that that can't be seen. Uh, so it's energy and it's really powerful stuff. And that's why I'm tingling all over while I'm speaking this. And that's why uh, people have been getting, uh, I actually say to them when they've had a healing session with me, they, they will be totally recalibrated because the whole energetic system, the whole blueprint is totally rebalanced, recalibrated and made pure again. So it's like all karmic stuff is dropped. It's amazing. I'm really excited about getting this book out there now because I really sussed it out. And I'm sure there's going to be other downloads of information that I'll be getting. And uh, oh, yes, as you can tell, I'm very excited. And look at this. I'm going to go back to this now. How beautiful. Silence. It's actually quite weird that there is no, just that one bird I've seen. That was a kararu, which is a New Zealand native wood pigeon. Just like the one we've got at home. Oh look, there's some fungi on the tree. And we're going down this little path down here. It's a beautiful forest. I'm getting little signs on the path. No doubt left by our little nature spirits. Because it's absolutely vibrant with energy in here today. And it's lovely. So I wanted to share what I've said with you, but also I wanted to share this with you. How beautiful. Oh, I can hear a bird in the distance. So in the summer, uh, in the winter, I mean, that stream there has got water in it normally. It just feels so different in here today. I think it's it's purely because I'm clearer, so I'm seeing it more. Uh, yeah. It's almost like when we first arrived in New Zealand and I couldn't get over how vibrant the plants were here. The colors were really jumping out at me. And I knew that I was seeing the life force in everything. And it feels like that in here today. I mean, look at that. You can feel it. So I'm not going to say see it, feel into it. And you could feel the life force energy that's in here. Beautiful. So I hope you're enjoying this walk with us. Hank is very much enjoying it, aren't you Hank? Lots of smells. Oh, somebody's tied that uh, vine up into a circle. Beautiful. There's lots of vines in this bit. We have vines all over our bit of bush on our land. Apparently, that's a sign of a healthy piece of bush. Lots of vines. Of course, they do like to strangle the trees, which is not so good for the trees. Uh, this is a tight little, look at this. It reminds me of when I was a child and I used to go through Puddletown Forest. 
uh, all all in lots of different nooks and crannies and paths and uh, exploring different areas when I was a child. We never had steps over there though, of course. But this is a lot more up and down than what I was used to when I was a kid. Beautiful. I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. As you can tell, I'm not very fit. <laughs> but Hank, Hank is keeping me fitter than what I would be if I didn't have him. Beautiful bit of sun coming. Beautiful. Hank. Good boy. It's very good coming in here with him because I can let him off and he runs up ahead then runs back, runs up ahead then runs back. So he's doing double the amount of exercise. Which of course he's only a young boy. Hank. Good boy. I have to keep an eye on him, just in case he goes too far ahead. That rain has done such wonders for all the plants in here and the trees. It's beautiful. Good boy, Hank. He's just come back. Touches me on the leg. Good boy, go on then. Waits for me to say, go on then, then he goes. It's a very good boy. Good man, good boy. So, while you're coming along with me on my walk, please feel into this energy. Feel into it. Feel the nature spirit. Feel the ancient beings of the trees. Look at this beautiful little clearing here. Use your senses to feel into this place. If you connect into your consciousness and your heart, you don't actually need to be here physically. sign. Uh, you can bring yourself here with me right at this time with your consciousness and your heart and walk alongside me as I go through the forest. You can do this with anything you want to do. You literally engage your higher consciousness and your heart energy and you can go wherever you like. You can take your astral form there if you want to. Oh, he's waiting for me, he's such a good boy. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? I'm actually underneath it now. Beautiful. So come along with me into the magic of the forest. I'm going down some steps now. Lots of new shoots growing, new young trees coming up and plants developing. And of course that rain has really given them a big boost. Now a long time ago, this forest that I'm in now was a big logging area. It was actually uh, Back at the entrance, there's like a one of those small, like kind of mining railway tracks, uh, but it was for logging. Of course, a lot of that went on back then. It does now, but in uh, places that are just designed for that, 
Whereas here, it would have been lots of stuff being cut down, unfortunately, because I don't like that much. Uh, but it is what it is. Right, Hank's come behind me again now, just touched me on the leg. Good boy. I just so love being in the forest. It makes you feel so connected to the earth. If you get chance, wherever you are, go and, if you've got a forest near you, please go and walk, oh, look at that. Another little sign. Please go and walk in your local forest. Don't just see with your eyes, see with your heart. So we're going down now. And if you haven't got a forest near you, maybe you've got a tree you can go and sit under. Or even just go and stand on the grass. And feel yourself. Close your eyes and do a silent internal meditation. Taking yourself to uh, a forest like this, if you like. Across a lovely little bridge. There is water in, in there. How beautiful is that? The tree cross over there. And there's lots of vines and all sorts down that way. It's funny, you could feel the energy different this side than what it was that side of the bridge. I'm not sure why, because I haven't fully tuned into it. It just feels different. There's a lovely little crossing for the animals across the water. All sorts of be using that to get across the water. Beautiful. Oh, he's waiting for me again. He's such a good boy. There he is, look, having a good sniff. Lots of smells for him. Lots of other dogs have been up here. Got all the roots, the trees making natural steps for us. How lucky are we? Oh, I can hear a wood pigeon again flying in. They have a certain sound with their wings, They're very heavy birds. you are connect with nature keep grounded because it'll really help you even on a spiritual level if you're trying to develop spiritually it's important to stay grounded as well in fact your gifts your natural gifts will develop quicker if you stay grounded I love these little paths. See, look at that through through the trees. Good boy, Hank. Hank, here boy. Good man. Look at this tree. This is beautiful. It goes up. And up, 
and up and up and then spreads out at the top and it is a tower tree I'm not so sure if I'm saying that right there it is saying what it is it has been marked it's been there hundreds of years how beautiful look at that big vine attached to its roots going up as well. Wow. So that is another little pathway up there, but we're not going to that. That's where a giant Piriri tree is. I have been to that before. Piriri trees are very magical. It's like the New Zealand oak. Look at this big ancient being here too, my goodness. Wow, look at that. Very, very big. Been there hundreds of years. Beautiful. I've got to, I've got to put my hand on. Put my hand on there. Often when I connect with a tree, I see history. They show me pictures. Of different timelines and history that they've been in, things they've seen. This one's seen a lot. There's a, a whole jumble of different visions I'm getting, different timelines. Yeah, wow. I'm being shown that a lot of this bush in between was taken down. There were other trees here once and it was all taken down, but there were certain trees that were left and these, these big ones are the ones that were left. Wow, thank you. Look at that, beautiful, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we're heading on. Take this journey with me, even if you want to just sit with your eyes closed and, and bring yourself and your consciousness with me through this journey. And I know I'm saying this towards the end, but perhaps you can sit and do it again when you have time and come with me. I welcome you all to join me on this journey in consciousness and with your heart energy. Now we're going to a, a bit down here and as you can see it's getting a lot darker, it's a lot more dense but not for that reason, this bit has a different feel so I actually feel like there's somebody with me but there isn't. I have a feel. Hank's waiting for me, that's good. Just have a feel. This bit here, we always stop and, and have a look at this bit because it feels like there's eyes watching from the bush. It's a lot denser, there's a lot more coverage for the nature spirits. But it feels like we're not on our own. Well, certainly there's birds. But I don't mean that. that. I'm going to just pan back round into that space. Have a little feel. This will be good practice if you're on your journey to open up your spiritual gifts. Just feel into this area and maybe comment below with what you're feeling. Doesn't matter what it is. We all might feel something different because you might be tapping into a different timeline than someone else. So don't feel that you're not getting the same as someone else because that doesn't matter. When I've done uh, house clearings with a dear friend of mine, we used to go in when I lived in Auckland, we would go in together and clear houses and we came across a lot of different things, even a plague pit in one house. 
well, out of garden, not in the house. Uh, which, of course, had a huge amount of energy and spirit attached to it. But anyway, when we go in together, we both tap into different things and we also both tap into the same stuff. So that's what I'm saying. There's different timelines you could tap into, different circumstances that went on, because we're all slightly different. We all have our own pure energy signature. I'm getting downloads in my left ear as I'm walking along. I've been getting this on and off here while I'm doing this video, but over the last few days, I've been getting it in both ears. I call that a download, a frequency coming in, and it will be filled with information of some sort. Hank! Good boy, standing there waiting for me. Good boy. Good man. So yeah, put your comments below. I'd love to read them. I love reading comments from you. And I will answer every single one of them, even if it's with an emoji. If I can't actually have time to write things. But please know I've read and I have acknowledged and I really enjoy reading your comments. So I'm actually going to say cheerio for now because I've been going for 26 minutes through it so far through here. There's another native passion vine on a what's that? Pukiti. Yeah. So there is a no native vine growing that up that beautiful old tree, which I cannot pronounce the name of very well. Uh, yes, another dense piece, lots of energy here. So I'm going to say cheerio for now, lots of love, have a lovely evening or day wherever you are on this planet. Please re-listen to this and come with me on this journey through the forest. Connect with your consciousness and your heart, it'll help you ground and we can take this journey together. So much love from us. Bye for now, bye.